pretty much, I didn't give up, but I just was feeling very like discouraged and just very annoyed. And then in, in that, oh, but prior to that, on, on my, on my way to the grocery store, to that, to the next plaza, I'm praying and I'm just like, Lord, you are a good God. And I just kept saying, Lord, you are a good God and you love me. And I said, what I'm going through right now is just a test. I said, what I'm going through now, I'm, I'm an overcomer. I just kept, I just was declaring the words of God over my life because the enemy wanted me to be discouraged in my situation. The enemy wanted me to be discouraged about that. I didn't get any money. The, the enemy wanted me to be discouraged on, um, just everything that I was going through that day with ha- having to having to lug the bags and and everything, the enemy wanted me to be discouraged, and I just was like, no, my father loves me. You know what I mean? My father loves me. He is a good God. He gives good gifts to his children. He is good. He is awesome. He loves us. He, you are right here with us, Jesus. We are not alone. And I just kept prophesying and and declaring those things that I know about my father and that was on the way to the grocery store and then now I like I said I sit down at the bench I get well I didn't sit down but I just was standing up while I was looking through the stuff and like I said I was in I was kind of even though I prayed I still was in a state sort of no I was I was in a state of feeling annoyed, but I was also in a state of just trying to get things done. So I wasn't really thinking about what I prayed anymore. I wasn't really thinking about the fact that, oh, I didn't get any money. Or I wasn't even thinking about the fact that, oh, I got all these bags. I just was, I was just in a mindset of moving forward and getting this out of my pos- out of my possession because I didn't want to carry it no more. That was my mindset. And then, and then now this lady, and mind you, I saw the lady coming out the grocery store and she, she walked by me and she was like, excuse me, because I had my cart and she had her cart and we was kind of like, like coming towards each other. So she was like, excuse me. And I move out her way. And then I went to go to the bench. And that's what I'm looking, you know, looking through my stuff. And now that's this very same lady who comes to me and tells me that God told her to give me some money. And I'm just like, and then, and then right after that, when I decide to leave everything there, after I after she gives me the money, I it's probably like five to ten minutes into that, I um I decide to just leave everything there. And then as soon as I'm about to walk away from the bag, a grocery store worker comes out and he's like, "Ma'am, what what are those bags?" And he wasn't saying it like like in a in a mean way. He just was asking me what were the bags. And I was like, "Oh, they gar oh they trash they garbage." <laughs> and he and he came and picked them up. Got them, got them off of me, and and that was and the rest is the rest is history. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But look, that that's that's just a small testimony of God's goodness. God has done so many other wonderful things in my life, but I just wanted to share that with somebody. You know, be encouraged. Don't let the enemy discourage you into thinking that God doesn't love you or that God is not with you. God will never leave you. He will never forsake you. If you're truly his. Um, be strong in the Lord. As, a, as Ephesians. As Ephesians chapter 6. Finally be strong in the most high God. And in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. That you may, you may be able to stand against the schemes of Satan the devil. Yes. Put on the whole armor of God. Baby, <laughs> what are you talking about, Mama? What are you talking about? Hmm? So, um, put on the whole armor of God, and the armor of God is the helmet of salvation. What is the salvation that God came into the world? Jesus Christ came into the world and died for you and for me, so that you may have a way back to eternal life. He came to save you from your sins. That is salvation. Know that you are saved in God. You have salvation in God. Okay? So, knowing that, that's the helmet. That's your mind. Protect your mind with that helmet of salvation. Protect your mind with knowing the fact that you are saved. Okay? And that you can live, you will live an eternal, everlasting life. Okay? 
the um the the breastplate of um of of righteousness yes the breastplate okay what is right here your heart okay make sure that your heart is right with god make sure that you are in his righteousness seek ye first the kingdom and all of its righteousness not your righteousness but god's righteousness that's the heart that's the that's the breastplate of righteousness okay the belt of truth hallelujah what is the truth that god died that jesus jesus christ died for you so that you may have a way back to God, okay? You are saved. You are free, okay? Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. There's liberty. Hallelujah. Okay? So that's the truth. Know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That's the truth about you. The enemy don't, doesn't want you to believe that. The enemy wants you to believe that you are forgotten of God, okay? And you are not forgotten of God. You are loved by God. And he is with you every step of the way, okay? So that's the truth. Know the truth. And the truth shall, shall set you free. Okay, and what else? Um, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Know the word of God, okay? Because that's how you can defeat the enemy. In, in, um, in, in the wilderness, when Jesus was tempted 40 days and 40 nights, the enemy came to him telling him, oh, if you are the son, oh, do this and do that. And, you know, basically trying to make him prove. God, God ain't got to prove nothing to you, Satan. You know, we don't, we, we don't have to prove nothing to you because... Our proving is in what Christ did for us on the cross. And if we know what Christ did for us on the cross, then we can stand in that. And how we stand in that is we defeat him with the word. Who is what is the word? The word is Jesus. The word is is life, okay? Jesus is the word, okay? He is the living word. So bask in Jesus. Develop yourself in the truth of, of Jesus Christ. Know his righteousness, okay? Know his truth. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so that was the that was the belt. I did the, the head the helmet, the breastplate, the belt, the sword, which is the, the word of God. Yes, Jesus is the living word of God in his word, which is in the which is in the Bible. Meditate on his word because that's how you can defeat the snares of the enemy with the word of God. That's the only way. If you if you know the word of God, it ain't nothing about like I was watching Joshua Selman. He was talking about you you can't defeat the enemy by telling him, oh I I well Satan get <laughs> Satan get away from me because I I I'm a part of this church. <laughs> Satan gonna be like, okay, so what? <laughs> no, you defeat the enemy by knowing who you are in God and knowing his word, okay? Um as the word says in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So enemy trying to come to you and make you feel like you're not wanted of God or you are you or you're not gonna have or you or you um are forsaken of God or um you know the what what does the word say? You the Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want, okay? So know the word, know the word of God, that's our sword. Okay, that's how we fight the darts, the fiery darts of the enemy with the sword okay and now we have uh i did the help the helmet i did the breastplate i did the belt i did the sword i think it's two more the shoes of the gospel of peace yes peace god gives us the peace that's the pastor's all understanding and we walk in peace through the fruit the fruits of the holy spirit okay so walk in that peace okay God gives us peace that the world can't give, okay? Um, so walk in that peace and walk in the gospel of peace, meaning preaching the word of God, speaking speaking his goodness and his love to people to, to, to shed light and to give others that peace, that peace that surpasses all understanding that the world cannot give. Um, and what's the other one? Is I think it's six, I think it's six, the shield of faith hallelujah and god just gave me that because i didn't really even really remember and it just came right into my spirit yes the shield of faith the shield of faith hallelujah that is without faith it's impossible to please god faith is the absence of things uh not seen in the presence of things hoped for i i think i'm saying that right but basically, it's believing without seeing. How we believe in God, but we don't see him. Okay? That's faith. And it, with without faith, it's impossible to please God. Because 
how can we know him if we don't have faith to believe who he is and who he says he is because we don't see him we see him in evidence of things that he presents to us but we don't see him face to face until he returns so you need to have faith in order to fight in this fight fight the good fight of faith hallelujah <laughs> glory be to god and i just wanted to bless somebody with this testimony today jesus is is awesome he is awesome he's amazing he is amazing when you think that it's all done and it's all over and when you when you when you think that you know when you get so down and out and when you just feel like oh where is god he will show up at that at the last minute and it's always perfect timing perfect timing perfect timing because i even think about um I think about my my child, you know, when she cries sometimes, like say if say if um she's ready to eat and say, you know, I'm I'm, you know, doing something else or, you know, and you know, say if I'm using the bathroom or and she's ready to eat or she needs to be changed, whatever the case is and she need she needs me at the moment. It's always that a few minutes into her, a few a few seconds into her crying, I pick her up, and she's like, <laughs> and it's always I can tell for her it's always at the right time, so she never cries too long. She's never too far along into a cry until I come get her, and you know until I pick her up and and tend to her. She's never too far into a cry, and. And that's love, you know. I never, I will never let her go in too far, too far into a crowd. I don't care if I have to stop using the bathroom to go pick her up. That's love. You understand that that you lay down your life for your brother, for your sister, and for your child, for for whoever you lay down your life. You know what I mean? For no greater love than a man lay down his life for his friends. So that's love, okay? And God is just like that. You know, I was at the time in the moment when I was at that bench looking through the clothes and God showed up in the right timing, right timing of when, okay, I was a little bit distraught, but I wasn't, I wasn't too far gone. You understand? I wasn't too far gone. And that's when God shows up. He, he might not show up when you want him, but he's always right on time. And that, and that was a needed a needed presence of his love that I needed to see even though I know he loves me but I I needed to feel it I needed to see it in the physical a little bit more and he showed up at the right time through a vessel and I just want to just bless somebody with that be encouraged be of good courage okay be encouraged and be of good courage God is with you if you believe if you have uh passed from from uh from spiritual death back to spiritual life you are God's you are God's chosen you are God's you are you are God's love be lo you are his beloved okay and he loves you if you have forsaken the world and forsaken sin and took your cross up and followed Christ you are love you are his beloved and he loves you and he's always right there with you he's there walking with you with your bags he's there walking with you every step of the way so don't let the enemy try to distract you or make you think that God forgot you or God is not with you. God bless.